What's up guys, welcome back. Today we'll be helping SK Sadix 786K2i get Pokemon Brilliant Diamond running properly on the Eden emulator. I'll show you how to fix black screens, crashes, and zero FPS issues when running games like this on Eden. First of all, before we start, I recommend you watch my video on how to choose the right Eden build for your device. If you already know how to choose the correct Eden build, then you can skip this step. Next, firmware does not affect this game. Any firmware version should work, so don't waste time changing or reinstalling firmware. It will not fix the problem. To fix black screen and crashing, I use Turnip 24.1.0 R18. This is made for Adreno 66X devices, and I personally use it because I have an Adreno 650 GPU. This driver solves the launch crash and prevents the game from loading into a black screen. I will leave the download link in the description box. You can also check Eden's GPU driver recommendations in GPU Fetcher, but currently GPU Fetcher is not working on Eden version 0.0.4 RC3. Because of that, manual GPU driver testing is still the safest option. If this GPU driver doesn't work for you, you should watch my video on how to get the right GPU driver for your device. Every phone behaves differently, so make sure to check that out if you still have issues. Now, if your game opens but stays at zero FPS, here's how to fix it. Open Eden Settings, go to Advanced Settings, then go into Eden's Veil. Once you're there, look for the option called Release Fences Early and turn it on. This should fix the zero FPS problem instantly. Let's check if it works. Launch Pokemon Brilliant Diamond again, and it should start normally without a black screen, without crashing, and the FPS should begin moving. If this helped you, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.